Hi folks and welcome to this how-to video. So in this video on the Magic Mixies Magical Crystal Ball, we're going to look at how you can put the Magic Mixie back in the crystal ball okay. to redo the creation yeah. process. So it can come up again. Mm -hmm. yeah. We're also going to look at how you can put a different object in. All right. Not the Magic Mixie. And we're also going to look at refilling the crystal ball because we found that the actual stuff that you use for the mi the misting is a glycerine mm -hmm. type of glycerine water mixture. And you can buy it for just like a couple of pounds or yeah. just like a few dollars. Way, way cheaper than the uh, replacement stuff that uh, the company sell. And it's particularly cheap because theirs is already watered down with water as That's well. Right, yeah, so it's yeah. massively cheaper. So the first thing we're going to look at is how to reset to reveal your Magic Mixie again. Okay. Reset to reveal your Magic Mixie again. Ensure the crystal ball platform has been raised to the top position and it is turned off. So obviously it is raised to the top position and the three position switch on the crystal ball is in the off position. Make sure the mixie holder is connected properly to the crystal ball by rotating the two purple locks. So we've got a diagram there showing the two locks and a close up diagram showing the lock being moved. So these are the two locks here and here and you, you twiddle them like so uh -huh. and then this lifts out you see all right so nice. we have got our ideas about what we want to do with this eventually mm, that's right we, we have yeah and um we might that might involve taking this off it probably will do yeah so we're going to repurpose it we're going to repurpose it yes that'll be in another another jurassic world theme yes. type idea <laughs> that'll be in another video <laughs> For successful operation, position your mixie as follows. A. Seated. So you tuck the feet up so that it's seated. Mm -hmm. Like that. Yep. B. Ears tucked under arms or within mixie holder. C. Arms close to body. So the arms close to the body. Like that. Mm -hmm. the chest, yeah. Don't really understand the bit about the ears. You think it's maybe that some of them have got longer ears than yeah, others? Yeah, because there are different critters that come out mm, of the uh, magic mixing. And I think some have longer ears than the one we've yeah, got. Yeah, because this the, the ears wouldn't go under the no, arms on this one. You can't tuck them under the uh, under the arms. They're not long enough. D. Tail wrapped under mixie holder and pushed close against back. So, got this. All right, you've got to pull the tail out like that. And then, yeah. I see. Push it under like that. Mm. So, his tail helps anchor him ah. to, to the mixie holder. Mm. That looks uh, quite good. I see, right, I can see that now, mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. That's just quite secure, isn't it? Six, screw the ball in place clockwise to assemble and move the switch to create mode. So you screw it clockwise. Okay. Then we've got to switch this on to create. Seven, press the front gem on the crystal ball and it will fill with mist. Your magic mixie will disappear. Okay, so press the front gem. It seems that I'll be leaking some mist out of it, Paul. Don't you? Back. 
What's up now? Oh, he's going down! Camera at green. Eight, press the front gem on the crystal ball again to restart the creation process. So now you press this again to start the <coughs> creation process. So what we did after that, folks, was we let go through the creation process again to see if it popped out OK. And this time the mist was working properly because it seemed to be coming out the ball at first. It didn't seem to be filling the ball, but I don't know what was going on there. I don't know if we didn't have it quite on snugly enough or what. Way! <laughs> Isn't it good? Look at that, all the gems are yeah. lighted up on her head. So good. And before we look at how you can put a different toy in the magical crystal ball, we just thought we'd show you Victor inside of the crystal ball because what we're planning for this is to do a sort of Jurassic World scene inside with like little pterodactyls and mm, stuff. Mm. Thought the mist was like quite appropriate for that. So that'll be coming in a future video folks. Reset to reveal your own toy. You can reveal your own toys from the crystal ball by placing them on the platform. Ensure the crystal ball platform has been raised to the top position and it is turned off. Remove the holder by rotating the two purple, purple locks and pulling it out. And there's a diagram folks and I did show you earlier how that comes off. Make sure your toy isn't too big to sit on the platform. This could stop your crystal ball from functioning. Ensure your toy is no larger than the magic mixie. Screw the ball in place clockwise to assemble and move the switch to create mode. Press the front gem on the crystal ball and it will fill with mist. Your toy will disappear. Press the front gem on the crystal ball again to restart the creation process. So basically, the only difference is you're taking the holder out of it. Yeah. But I suppose if your toy will fit in the holder, you don't even need to take that out, do you? Mm, that's right, yeah. up a ninja so success we managed to get something else to come out of the box yeah so finally we're going to look at the mist refill after using your crystal ball multiple times the mist effect may be reduced you can create more mist by refilling Undo the lid on the refill vial and locate the cross-shaped hole in the back of the crystal ball. And it's got a little star and it says sold separately. So I think these are about £12 for two of these little plastic bottles that have the stuff in that makes the mist greatly watered down. I'll tell you about that in a minute, folks. Place the end of the refill vial in the hole until it stops and gently squeeze three times. Do not overfill. Each re refill vial is intended for multiple uses. Do not transfer all contents to the crystal ball in a single refill. Wipe up any spills with a paper towel. Remove the refill vial and seal it with the lid. And then we've got this little diagram here of a close-up of this cross-headed hole. So the refill bottle that they sell, 
the top of the bottle must fit into this little crosshead. Yes, it must hole. be sort of like uh, keyed, in, keyed in a way. Must yeah. Key, yeah. keyed in. So how would we do it if we're not using the refill bottle that they provide? Well, I think if you had um, a small enough nozzle, which would go, if you can, if you see the the X there, yeah, you can imagine a a nozzle which was small enough to fit in the centre of it. You could probably still um, get some of the solution in that way. But it might be uh, more interesting to fill it up uh, whilst it's uh, apart. Yes, yes, that'll be interesting. Mm. So what we're going to do in the next video, folks, is we're going to take this apart because we want to see how it works. But it'll also be interesting to get access to the reservoir, reservoir. inside of the glycerin and water mixture. Yeah, so we can extract that so that we can see what vis viscosity. What viscosity is, yeah. So we yes. can make our glycerin mixture the same viscosity or close enough with the, uh, the addition of some water. And we can also see what the reservoir looks like inside and maybe mm. get more of an idea yeah, yeah. of how much to put in and how to get in this little hole by seeing the inside of it. That's right. So, as we mentioned earlier, it says in the instructions that they use vegetable glycerine, which is safe for human consumption. That's right. It's the same thing you find in these vaping devices. Oh, right. Is that for, like, people trying to stop smoking? That's right, yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. It's the same stuff, is it? Yeah, but the, obviously in a vaping device, they add uh, nicotine and flavourings and things like that. Right, right. So vegetable glycerine is widely available, folks. And very cheap. Very cheap. Uh, this was the smallest bottle that I could get, 10 millilitres. 10 millilitres, yeah. Uh, it just cost a couple of pounds. Super cheap. Mm -hmm. And this is not watered down. That's right. So this will actually make loads and loads of refills for the Magic Mixie. Yeah. In instead of paying £12 for a single bottle. That's water, mainly mm. water anyway. Mm -hmm. So I hope you'll join us, folks, for our next video because it should be really interesting. Mm -hmm. We're going to take the magical crystal ball apart uh -huh. and see how that works. And we're also going to take the wand apart and we'll see how that works. And we'll have a look at the reservoir and mm -hmm. we'll try and get the, the liquid out. Yep. We'll see how much water we've got to put in mm -hmm. and we'll try and mix up our own. And then we'll see how it works. Yeah. Yeah. Should be really interesting. It should be. But that's it for this video, folks. Thanks for watching as always and hope to see you next time.